How's it going guys, Sir Teapot here and today we're doing some more Stuggy which is Sir Teapot's gaming update and this week is the week of August the 5th and this is Stuggy number 25 and we're going to be covering all the upcoming games for this week, all the biggest news stories from last week that you may have missed and all the little bits I like to be putting in between. So we're going to start off with the upcoming games for this week and we haven't actually got that many games that are coming out this week so coming out today we have got Age of Wonder Planet 4 coming out for the PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Then we've got Metal Wolf Chaos XD coming out for the PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Then we've got This War of Mine uh, Fading Embers DLC coming out for the PC. Then on August the 7th we have got Run, Roll and Rumble coming out for the PC. Then August the 9th we've got Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet uh, Complete Edition coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Right, moving on to the little bits I like to put in between. So we've got the upcoming game to play which is going to be Metal Wolf Chaos XD. So many of you not, might not know this game, I actually didn't realise what this game was until I actually looked at it. It's actually a remake of an old PS2 game I believe it was. I do actually recognise playing it myself at some point, but in my head I don't recognise the name, but I, I think I have played it at some point in the past. And it actually looks like a really good remake, it actually looks like the graphics are a lot better. Obviously because it is a lot, lot of time past, but it just looks like quite a fun game. It looks a bit like, um, I can't think what it's called now. I think there's, uh, it's like Monster Hunter or something like that, but not Monster Hunter, like something along those lines. And there's, um, and it looks like that type of style game, like an uh, open world kind of style, but not too open world. It's all like old school um, PS2, like army shooter kind of thing. So it looks quite fun. Recommend you check it out. Trailer, obviously, on YouTube and stuff like that. And like I said, it does come out today, actually. I believe it comes out this evening or something like that. So I recommend checking it out and picking it up at some point. So the achievement to achieve this week is going to be in Worms WMD and that is an achievement called You're So Pushy and that's to kill 20 worms with the prod which is a type of attack in the game if you didn't know which is literally just a thing and you walk up to a walk up to it and you can just poke them off and kill them like that. And you can poke them off the edge or you can instantly just poke them off I think it does 5 damage or something like that so if you really want to rub the salt in the wound and someone's got like 1 health you just walk up and prod them and kill them instantly which is even better. But that is a 20 gamer score achievement and it ties in to the Game Pass game to play which is Worms WMD funnily enough. So if you didn't know Worms WMD has now come to Game Pass on the Xbox One and also on the PC version. So if you've got the PC version or Xbox One version I seriously recommend picking up Worms WMD. If you've never played a Worms game before pick it up you will have probably the most fun you've had in years. It is such a fun game. And also if you've played Worms before you know how much of a fun game it is so I recommend that you actually do pick it up. Uh, moving on from that, we have got the biggest news stories from last week that you may have missed. So we're going to start off with the Outer Worlds is coming to Nintendo Switch, which is the Obsidian made um, open world game that is a sci-fi kind of style game, which um, is being produced by Microsoft as well, is now officially coming to Nintendo Switch. It looks quite an extensive game from the trailers and the gameplay trailers that we've seen, so it should be quite interesting how it transitions over to the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully the graphics still look rather alright and it doesn't destroy the battery life on the Switch too heavily because I can imagine it being a rather high handle game to process because you can travel from world to world in the game like there's like so many different environments to explore and stuff like that so be interested to see how it actually handles itself on the Nintendo Switch uh, moving on from that we have got Gears 4 and Forza 6 is going to be free with Xbox Gold so Xbox games with gold every month get obviously two games and everything like that and this month they are getting Gears of War 4 and Forza 6, which is actually some pretty decent games to be getting on your games with gold, unless you've got Game Pass, because I believe they are both on Game Pass, which is pretty disappointing, but most people that have got Xbox Gold don't, well, do have Game Pass as well, but some people don't, obviously, so I guess it's good for some people to sell quite well, as, as well as they expect it to, so it is probably the best idea to get it to free, people for free to prepare for... Uh, Gears of War 5's launch and hopefully some people come back to the Gears of War series with this. And then moving on from that we've got Nintendo Switch Lite is now available to be pre-ordered in every shop I believe available that sells games and stuff like that. So like Argos's, Walmart's, uh, Game, GameStop, uh, I'm trying to think of both British and American shops. But yeah, anything you can think of I believe it's available to pre-order. In America it is £199.99. And then in the UK, it is also £199.99. So it isn't too badly priced. I believe it is cheaper than the current Nintendo Switch, which is actually a lot better to say it's got a better battery life, it's just smaller. And to be fair, I think it looks a lot better. I'd, I'd seriously want to pick one of these up just because of the style of them just looks better. 
and I believe I'd prefer one of these rather than having the joysticks that can be removable and stuff like that. And then moving on from that, we have got new games for the Game Pass this month are going to be Pandemic and Ashes Cricket and Downwell. Ashes Cricket and Pandemic are both and Downwell are all on Game Pass currently. And Pandemic and the Ashes Cricket are only on the Xbox One version and then Downwell is on the PC version only. But they got added on the 1st of August. And then we have got on the 8th of August, we've got the Jackbox Party Pack 2 and Space Hulk Tactic, which will be added, like I said, on the 8th of August. And then on the 14th of August, we have got the Slay, uh, Slay the Spire will be added as well, as I said, on the 14th. So there's some pretty decent games that are coming to Game Pass this month, so there's a lot up to be excited about. So it should be quite interesting to see... What game? Well, I want to know what you games you want you guys are going to play. So down in the comment section below, if you're going to be checking any of these games out, let me know because I want to know if you want to be playing them, and I want to see you guys talking about it in the comments below. And uh, moving on from that, <clears throat> we have got a really strange bit of news that has happened this week. Ninja has left Twitch and has officially moved over to Mixer. And there's a few rumours why and stuff like that because apparently he has been losing a lot of viewership and subs on Twitch for various reasons, but I'm not quite sure why. But he did his first Mixer stream about two, three days ago, something like that. And he pulled in more views on Mixer than he did his average views on Twitch over the last six months or year, I think it was. So he's done, he's blown up massively on Mixer out of nowhere again. So it's quite interesting to see that he's back in media's eyes and he's in instantly got his influence back quite a bit because I saw some stats that he had nearly a quarter of a million subscribers to Twitch in like 2018 or something like that. And then there were some other stats to the month before he left Twitch. And I believe he had only like 25,000 subscribers and a lot of them was Twitch Prime. But back in the day, a lot of a lot more was Twitch Prime and stuff like that. And obviously Amazon owned Twitch, so they want as many people using Amazon Prime, which gives you Twitch Prime and stuff like that. But with him losing that many, a lot of people have pulled themselves away from Amazon Prime. So that's why Amazon have pushed themselves away from Ninja quite a bit over the past, like, six months if you've noticed because Ninja hasn't been in the media as much due to it seems like Amazon just kind of didn't want up to do with him for a while they seemed to have felt he was a bit tainted or something like that I don't know what it is but now we've moved on to Mixer who seems to have been booming again but I reckon Twitch will end up still being bigger than Mixer for a long long time Mixer I don't think will do as well look at that DLive thing that became massive out of nowhere that PewDiePie were on about and then it instantly absolutely flunked and no one really cares about it and PewDiePie even still streams on it and stuff like that but it still doesn't pull in the viewage, the viewership that Twitch pulls in on a daily basis. But yeah, right over, moving on to the last piece of news of this week, is the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta is going to have cross-play from the beta launch, which is absolutely fucking incredible. I'm pretty sure it's the first ever game that will have cross-platform between... They haven't specified which consoles are cross-platform, I'm guess across every single platform, maybe not PC across uh, console players, because... There is a little bit, well, people say there's a there's a gap there where like people with PC and mouse are quicker than people with a controller and stuff like that, but like, I don't know, I won't say there is, but apparently there is, so the people don't like playing console against PC, so they might not put crossplay that in that way, but I reckon there'll be crossplay between Xbox and PC, which is going to be a lot of fun, I think. So it'd be nice to actually be able to play crossplay on a Call of Duty and it actually makes me want to play Call of Duty again a lot more so expect me to be playing the beta when it does come out because i am so excited for this i cannot wait to play it but anyway guys that's all everything for Stugu this week if you did enjoy the video make sure you do subscribe also why what a little bit why not hit the like button and then also why not share this with your friends if you did get any information from this video that you found useful because obviously there's a lot of shit if there's anything you didn't know share it with your friends because you never know you could give them a bit of bit of information that they didn't know from this week or last week or anything like that but anyway guys also follow me on all my social medias below especially my twitch because i try and stream nearly every day i did take a break yesterday for some for various reasons and um, i try and stream every day though so yeah i shall be on tonight hopefully when this video goes up i should be streaming later tonight anyway guys thank you guys for watching and i shall see you later peace